Alright, hi guys, this is another video from World Wild Arcades. This is the uh, rock and roll coin pusher again. This is part three. Uh, basically, this coin pusher, uh, I did intend it to be a big three player, uh, but really at the moment I'm finished the second, the the other two sections, and I'm not sure I can be bothered to really because it's a bit too big for my space that I've got in my arcade here. So I'm going to be taking the whole thing to bits um, and converting it into just a one player machine like the old McDonald. Uh, and if you haven't seen that yet, um, be sure to check out my channel and have a look at that first. Uh, we're just going to have one last play on this uh, three player one before I start taking it apart. And then hopefully in about maybe like four months. I might have a video of the new one player machine and I'm sure I'll be uh, willing to sell that to you if you get in contact with me. Alright let's have a play. Now, I've got plenty of coins here, I've got a whole box full. There's probably about 100, maybe 150 pounds worth in there. So we should uh, do well. And if you saw in um, part 2 Obviously, I've taken the metal off the pusher. That's now being used on the new Bar X pusher. Um, just, uh, and I'm just going to have to replace a bit on here because it was a bit worn out. So, today, and the, there's also no coin entry. So, today, I'm just going to be uh, chucking the coins in front of the pusher. Just seeing what happens, really. There's also a watch over here, and we've got some, well, we've got four fivers on there, so we'll try and win some of them. Whoops. As we can see, prizes often go towards the, uh, the lose shoot. So you just got to try and keep that clear, otherwise the machine's never going to make any profit. And that's also a tip if you're uh, making your own machine. Try and make the, the lose shoots big enough, otherwise they just get blocked up. Either that, or just put little prizes on. Like uh, little uh, sort of casino chips like this. Or things like that are this big that definitely won't get under there and block it. Because if they do, you're just not going to get any money back. Right, them ones are going down there. So when this becomes a one player I will be uh, making some coin entries to go in here because it's a bit rough at the moment. I'm just going to have the one slot because that seems to work best. Uh, but I'm going to keep keep all the graphics and that that I've made because I think they're alright. But I think I might make it a 2p pusher just because it's a bit easier and especially as uh, Barrex is going to be using all my tempies in the machine and in the hopper as well. Uh, if you haven't seen my uh, my plans and that for Barrex, the new pusher, then uh, be sure to check it out on my channel. If you like this video, then uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and um, be sure to subscribe. Well, because I'm not putting the coins in via the coin entry, it's not um, triggering the uh, diverter to open. You can see down there, I guess they're just sitting on it for a bit at the moment. I don't know why that is. But, uh, the diverter is just diverting them straight to the cash box. So uh, they're not coming out in the tray. I have to look at that. I don't know why I'm going to show you 
uh, where the profit is collected in the machine. Um, so we've got the door here, which is where the uh, the coins come out in the tray. But then if we go further down, there's another door, um, and you can see my keys are already in that. Um, and if we open up that, then inside, and why that one's escaped, we lift it up and out. There's this little box here where the coins are kept in there. And uh, when I'm out of coins um, in my supply, then this box is nearly almost full. So it really makes great profit. But in this door, there's just um, some uh, slides and that that just make all the coins that go down the side chute go into that box. Um, if you want to see, uh, if you want uh, me to tell you any more about that, then just drop me an email. Um, the email is in the uh, comments section, so just uh, drop me an email and I'll, I'll show you some diagrams and tell you about it. Right, thanks for watching.